Hi, I'm Steve Friedman with Rockstar Excel. I'm going to show you what I think are the 16 most useful shortcuts in Excel. These aren't just keyboard shortcuts, they're ways to make using Excel quicker and easier. However, I'm going to start with keyboard shortcuts. Control A is select all. Hit Control A once to select only the section of data that you've clicked in and twice to select the entire sheet. Control C is copy. Control X is cut. Now, if you've used either Control C to copy or Control X to cut, you're probably going to want to use Control V to paste. And then, if you've made a mistake, then Control Z is undo. If you have a really large or complex spreadsheet, you may want to use Control F, which is find. You also use Control F to get to find and replace which you can use to make a lot of changes at once. Control D fills across highlighted cells, which replicates the formula or hard-coded value you've input. Control R does the same, only it fills to the right. I go into more detail on how filling makes complex and powerful spreadsheets extremely simple to build in my Excel Made Easy class. Check out rockstarexcel.com for the current schedule of courses. F2 highlights cells that a formula refers to. F4 cycles between absolute and relative references. Hit it once for an absolute reference, twice for an absolute row and relative column, three times for an absolute column and relative row, and a fourth time to return back to a regular relative reference. If you don't know what absolute and relative references mean, this is also something I explain in my Excel Made Easy class. There are multiple shortcuts for paste value. I'm only counting this as one shortcut because I recommend you pick one of these and stick with it, or just keep using the mouse. It's all a matter of personal preference. The quickest one is Menu V. But that only works if your keyboard has a menu button. On full-size keyboards, the menu button is usually to the right of the spacebar and looks like this. But not all keyboards have a menu button, and generally most laptops don't. If you don't have a menu button, you can hit Ctrl-Alt-V at the same time, then V, then Enter. But you may find it awkward to hit Ctrl-Alt and V all at the same time. So the other alternative is Alt, then H, then V, then V again. Or right click and under the paste options section, select the clipboard with the one, two, three in the corner. And if you forget all that, you can always do it the long way of right clicking selecting Paste Special, then Values, then hitting Enter or selecting the OK button. That's all for keyboard shortcuts. Now let's talk about shortcuts using the mouse. This is the Sum button, which is up here on the Home ribbon. It's a sigma for those of you who know Greek, or you can call it the weird E, or just the sum button.
click on a sheet below a column of numbers and it will automatically add them up. The next shortcut is to move a cell by dragging its border. So if you just click on a cell and it gives you this green border around it and then you just click on the border and then you can just move it around wherever you want and any formulas that point to that cell are going to update so that it, they will continue pointing to wherever you moved it. The next shortcut is double clicking to fill down. Now if you click on a cell you'll see there's this tiny green box in the lower right corner. This is called a fill handle but I just call it the green box. There are three different shortcuts using this. First if you double click on it, it will fill down as far as there are continuous cells in the column to the left. Next, if you were to click on a single cell and then drag this green box down or to the right, it will fill your formula for as far as you are dragging the box. But then there's a really neat thing that a lot of people don't know about which is if you highlight multiple cells and then drag this green box down or across, Excel will look and see if there's a, any pattern and then continue this pattern, that pattern. So you could have one, two, and then drag this down and Excel is going to con keep counting for you. You could also put in Jan, Feb, and drag that across and Excel will keep filling in the months. So you don't have to write out all the months every time you're making a monthly spreadsheet. Those were the 16 most useful shortcuts in Excel. Please like and subscribe and check out rockstarexcel.com. Our Excel Made Easy class typically runs every other month. You can also sign up for our newsletter for tips on using Excel to make your life easier. Submit questions for a future video and book a free consultation to learn how we can save you time and money. Thanks for watching and stay tuned so we can help make you an Excel rock star.